Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are Aris and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. For just over a year, we have spent almost every weekend converting our Ford Transit into our ultimate adventure van. In this episode, our goal is to get the old girl all the way to the other side of England, to the furthest point southwest, Land's End. If you missed the last episode, the trip had a very bumpy start. We broke down on the most narrow part of the motorway. After just over an hour, the problem was solved and we pushed on towards Cornwall. The delay meant that we didn't get as far as we'd hoped, so we took a small detour and spent the night in the New Forest after a long and stressful day on the road. Today we made a stop right on the border of Devon and Cornwall and spent the night at a very unique Airbnb. So we arrived at Airbnb and this is how the entrance to Airbnb it's looks like. Literally in the middle of nowhere there's a park up for, for your vehicle. You can go first. There's a freaking cobweb. So let's go check it out. The thing is we've seen photos but because I've looked at the photos for a little while I, don't, I, I just don't know how it's going to look in person. There. Here she is. Our Airbnb for the night. And we have a private lake. This is insane! <laughs> so we have all this private land just for ourselves now. What the bloody hell are you doing? Oh my god. This is beautiful. Where are you going then? <laughs> Right, so I tested the boat, it's all good. Let's check the bus now. There's gonna be a bedroom. These are your hammocks. Hammocks, yeah. I think first thing, if you get in the bus, you need to check the driver's seat. <laughs> oh. What the hell? Oh, I can imagine there's living in the bus and I'm driving like this. So yeah, we have a... Oh my God, that's so comfortable. This is crazy. And then you have upstairs. Top deck. You probably have like a chilling or something. Yeah. Kitchen. It's like a four isn't it? Comments. Let's have a look at the comments. This is genius. Oh my lord. This is genius. Yeah, but a lot burn as well. Do not go in the woods. Creatures lurking in the dark. Do not leave the bus unequipped. It's him. I mean, it's very comfy. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave this cocoon in here. <laughs> no, you need to help me, so what if I can't get out? Come on. But, so this bus can take up to 12 people, was not it? Yeah, there's eyelets for 10, I think. 10 hammocks. We need to bring some stuff back here. Yes, we do. So we're leaving Flossy for a night there. We grabbed all the stuff we need. And we're heading back to the bus now. Another cool future of this Airbnb. Triple <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Okay. She knows what she's doing on there. <laughs> 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 
she's showing up now. <laughs> That's enough now, I'm tired. Trampoline Emily. masterclass with Emily. And you can have a time of your life and be knackered after. <laughs> I can show you a trick as well. Oh. <laughs> Looks like the silly salmon. <laughs> I'm knackered now though, I'm very thirsty. I used to love my trampoline. I used to have Sunday dinner, eat loads of it. And then the first thing I wanted to do was get on the trampoline, which was always a bit gross. I think it's time to cook dinner now, right? Yeah, let's cook dinner. Yeah, let's cook dinner. I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me, but it feels like I need to whisper here because it's so quiet that like, it feels like you need to whisper. So we're trying to be quiet. Let you know one There's happen. literally no one around us. But yeah, we had a little wonder around checking the place. We haven't showed you that outdoor shower. There's like an outdoor hot shower. Quite cool. But we're hungry, so dinner time now. After we've got our dinner, I think I'll prep this fire pit and we just chill. Probably watch another episode of Fox and Palm. The thing is, we have a bus, we have a kitchen in the bus, but it's... the bus was an added extra. But I was just saying to Aramis, we've literally gone from one bed in a vehicle to another bed in a vehicle. So we're making the most of the facilities more so than the bus at the moment. Mm. But the bus will be used when it gets cold and it's late. So I'm enjoying it out here. Time for a beer? Let's crack the beer. It's a race time. Who's gonna do a lap around this island? Fastest. Emily's turn. Okay. Ready, set, go. I already had my first attempt and it was really bad. I failed two times. So I reckon she's got a very good chance. My granddad did not teach me the road for nothing. <laughs> I can't desist a finish. Huh? Guess your time. Two minutes and ten seconds. Two minutes and two seconds. Yes! Getting into the position. Eh? Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. I'm trying to beat her by steady and strong rowing. Again. So he's coming round to like this section here now. So I would say he's about halfway there, but he's hit a minute and two seconds. Keep going, quick! Time. <laughs> Two minutes and six. One minute and 55 seconds. Smashed it. Okay, now Emily needs to have another round because I had to, my first one was two minutes and 38 because I spent around two times. So I think it's only fair if she's got another attempt. Round two, can I beat one minute and 55, 55. seconds? We get into optimum position. Three. Two, one. I got it, lads. I guess your time then. 
One minute and 59. One minute and 40. Yes! Yes! Girl can row. Give me a competition. That's it. Look though. I gave myself a blister for the competition. This is determination. So now we challenge you to come here and beat our time. <laughs> or if you're here with somebody, just race each other around the island. It is great fun. That was a great game. Oh, I can't believe you beat this me actually. Well done. I don't quite often win, but I'll take that as a win. <laughs> Let's put the fire on. This is it for our stay on the yeah, bus. We had a great time. Such a good time. Oh. We would 100% recommend staying here. Like. Yeah. Unfortunately, second day, as you can see, it's not so nice, it's raining. So we just laid in bed. Have had a nice cup of coffee. Had a nice outdoor shower in the rain. That was the weirdest but nicest experience ever. I've never had an outdoor shower and now I have, so I can check that off my little list of things yeah. to do. We got everything packed up and we're ready to say goodbye. Thanks for having us, Bass. It's definitely, definitely, definitely worth a visit. Yeah. Just it... for the bus, but also to race around the island in the <laughs> rowing boat, to sit by the on the deck and by the lake and have dinner and it's just really a unique place to stay. Mm. Yeah. We're heading back to the van and then head to Tintagel. Yeah. And hopefully the weather just yeah. brightens up. We've got an hour to drive there and forecast is giving us a yellow warning for rain. But uh, yeah, we'll see you oof, at the park up yeah. for breakfast, I guess. Yeah. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little series, please consider leaving a like and a comment. It helps us continue doing what we love. Come back next time for the last part of this road trip series and see just how far we got. See you soon. Bye.